Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to do a little bit of a different video. So if you have been following me on my social media, such as TikTok or Instagram, or even a little bit on YouTube, you will know I've been traveling Brazil for six months. Now, I wanna do a Australian speaking Portuguese video. So when I arrived in Brazil, I only knew a little bit of Portuguese. I couldn't hold a conversation. I could only ask a few phrases here and there. So I thought, why not make a video on translating how we speak in Australia directly to Portuguese. So it's a good way for me to keep my Portuguese speaking up so I don't lose what I did learn in Brazil. And also gives you guys an insight is if you are not Australian, then you can see how we actually speak in Australia. So I've selected 10 phrases that are the most common here to speak in Australia. And you can, and I'll explain a little bit about them and then I will translate them to Portuguese and you can see what it's all about. All right, so I have my phone here, I'm ready to go. I'm going to do, say it in English and then I'm going to play it in Portuguese. So a very common one we say in Australia is, how's it going? So it's a very, very slang way of saying, how are you? And in Portuguese, that means, Como vai? Como vai? Which I think is a very formal way of saying, how are you? I know in Brazil, you say, to the bang. Uh, I've, I've learned that, obviously, that's a very common thing you say to a lot of people. So, how's it going? You know, some people say, how are you going? Like, it's very, very slang way to say, como vai? All right, so the next one is, let's go to the pub and get some beers. Very, very common thing to do, especially if you're a tradie or just a person that likes to socialize. All right, so in English, let's go to the pub, get some beers. In Portuguese. Jesus. Vamos ao pub pegar algumas cervejas. So my Portuguese isn't too bad when I pronounce it because I've been practicing for a long time, but Jesus, if someone didn't know Portuguese, that would just be, yeah. The first time I learned some Portuguese words, it was very confusing. All right, the next one. Let's go get some Tim Tams. If you don't know what Tim Tams are, you're missing out. Seriously, it's one of the best cookies that is made in Australia by a company called Arnott's. All right, Arnott's? Um, yeah, sounds Australian. And it's very common to go get some, especially you can bite off each end of the Tim Tam and then like suck some milk through it or some hot coffee and then it all just goes to a melted chocolate. Oh, it's so good, honestly. So let's go get some Tim Tams. Let's see what it is in Portuguese. Vamos pegar alguns Tim Tams. Chin change. Chin change. Vamos pegar alguns Tim Tams. But you say Chin change. Vamos pegar alguns Tim Tams. Chin change. Vamos pegar alguns Tim Tams. There you go. So if you ever come to Australia, get some Tim Tams. Next one is let's send it tonight. Very, very common if you're gonna go out partying and you just wanna get super drunk. Let's send it tonight. It's just you wanna just get so drunk that you don't even wanna remember the night. All right? So in English, let's send it tonight. Portuguese. Vamos enviar esta noite. Vamos enviar esta noite. Sounds pretty good. I'll say that and see if any uh, Brazilians know that. Vamos enviar esta noite. Easy. All right, the next one is a very, very big slang in Australia. It's let's go get a couple tinnies. Let's get a couple tinnies. Tinnies is another slang word for beer. Okay, so there's ya. Tinnies is just like a can of drink of beer, basically, and we call it tinnies. I have no idea why. I never know where it came from, but tinnies is just a common word to say. So. Vamos pegar alguns tinnies. Chinese, vamos pegar algunos chinis. Sounds like chin, chini. You say the T with a sh, chinis, but I don't see no, no C there to say it. So chinis. Okay, a very common food in Australia is a bacon and egg roll. It's so good, it's like a Mr. Kente with just bacon on it, okay? So let's go get a bacon and egg roll. There's no real common slang for that, but in Portuguese. Vamos pegar um bacon Vamos pegar um bacon e um rolinho de ovo. Vamos pegar um bacon e um rolinho 
Oh, vamos pegar um bacon e um forninho de ovo. Oh, meu Deus do céu. Meu Deus. That's a tricky one. Very, very big slang is ripper. So, you put ripper in, the weather is a ripper today, which means it's really nice weather. Blue sky, sun is shining, it's good to go to the beach. So, the weather is a ripper today, in Portuguese. O tempo está estragado hoje. O tempo está estragado hoje. Ah, estragado. O tempo está estragado hoje. Caralho. Alright, the next one is also another big slang. We have a lot of slangs in Australia. It's, I need to go to the servo to fill up. And it's like, I need to go to the gas station to put fuel in my car. Alright? So, in Portuguese... Eu preciso ir ao servo para encher. Eu preciso ir ao servo para encher. Okay. Not bad. I'm impressed with my Portuguese. Alright, so if you don't want to say you can't speak a language very well in a slang, it's I don't speak that flash. It makes no sense at all, but it's just a way of saying that I don't speak very well. Alright, so in Portuguese... Eu não falo esse flash. Eu não falo esse flash. I feel like I should do these videos every week and I'd be speaking fluent Portuguese in no time. Eu não falo esse flash. Not bad. All right, the last one I'm going to sit, tell you guys today is it's a bit how's your father. So this one makes no sense and I don't know why we say it, but it's basically saying it's not that good. So if you hand us a drink and it's a beer, we could say it's a bit how's your father, which means it's a bit not that good. All right, so in Portuguese. É um pouco como está seu pai. É um pouco como está seu pai. Yeah, that would make zero sense if I said that to someone in Brazil. They would look at me so weird, but in Australia, it seems normal for some reason. Uh, you can also say it's a bit hours ago as well. There's, there's many ways. It, the Australian English, you can just throw words in there and just make it whatever. So, they're the 10 phrases that you'll hear a lot of in Australia. Alright guys, thanks for watching the YouTube video today. If you made it all the way to the end, well done. You've definitely learned some new Australian words. I think I'll start doing more of these speaking videos because it's good, I guess, for you guys to know some of our slang and it also keeps me accountable to learn more Portuguese. And I hope to be speaking fluent Portuguese in at least eight months to a year, for sure. So if I keep doing these videos and I keep learning, then we both get something in return. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, guys, if you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing down below and I hope you're having a good morning, night, afternoon or whenever you're watching this video. I hope you're having a good day and I will see you in the next one.